Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. I know it's been a while, but without further ado, I'm just going to get into this. So the recent Sonic X Shadow Generations trailer uh, came out recently uh, with Shadow's um, new Doom abilities, which look amazing. Uh, the game itself still looks amazing. I can't wait for it to come out in October. Um, but the why I'm making this video is for is because I... I noticed like a, a potential retcon or you know something a theory of whatever is happening but we got to see some more levels um, of Shadow's story or his side of the game and we got to see what people are saying uh, pieces of Sunset Heights um, like the underground area um, for, like Ghost Town and you know, Sunset Heights again, etc. And um, I can't remember the other level you play as the Avatar. Plaza, something Plaza, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. And we also got to see Chaos Island. Now, obviously, we know Sonic X Shadow Generations. The the two stories are happening at the same time, um, so. And obviously in the canon, Sonic Forces and Sonic Frontiers haven't even happened yet in the actual, you know, overall story. So I, it could be like a, you know, maybe Black Doom behind this. We don't know, but the Time Eater obviously comes in and, you know, takes away all of Sonic's friends as along with Sonic to the white void and obviously we don't know much about where shadow was at the time but the time eater does the same thing to him obviously because he ends up in the white void uh, just in a bigger open area i suppose um so but the the thing is what people are forgetting is the time eater the whole time during the events of sonic generations is controlled by the two eggmen or <laughs> Eggman's or Robotnik's, however you say his name, however, but yeah, it's 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 a question because if if this is the time he is doing, I guess you know, I I guess it can control. Obviously, it can control time. Obviously, I mean, come on, but we only ever seen it go from past the past, basically past games, past levels, past areas, but they're taking two levels that are set in the future that haven't happened yet, and it's just, a, it's just strange to me, like, how, if it is the time here, how the hell did Eggman even know about these two places? How does he know about them? Like, it 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 kind of just doesn't make any sense like you know the games haven't even happened yet the time eater is messing with time and space and yet shadow is in these two areas it could be the time eater it, or it could be even black doom he could control time maybe we don't know i mean yeah he he maybe has his own abilities of chaos control i don't think it was ever mentioned that he could use chaos control but he can he could use the chaos emeralds obviously um but yeah it's it's just a weird thing maybe there's more of a, like a story reason for this well there will be i hope <laughs> but it, it's just a very strange thing for the the developers and the writers to do hopefully they have a very good explanation on why shadow is in these areas i mean yeah chaos island there's a lot of backstory you know the chaos emeralds the ancients things like that maybe the the black arms knew them the ancients maybe they have a you know a history with one another we don't know but it's just very strange that shadow is in two areas that haven't even happened yet or don't really didn't have any story purpose back then because they didn't exist we didn't know about them even the developers and the you know 
Sega didn't even know about it. Sonic Team didn't know about it because they didn't think of these ideas yet. At least we don't. We think. But again, they probably most likely didn't have any idea about these places back in 2011 when Sonic was back in a, a good place again and then kind of dropped back down in popularity and the games weren't very good uh, for a few years until Frontiers came out but yeah it's just a strange strange thing why Shadow is in these places we we don't know um, we also I mean I guess maybe it, it could even be Shadow himself that has ended up in these places like because in the in the dark beginnings footage the little bit of footage we've seen shadow when maria grabs his arm or his hand he has little glimpses and glitches of the future and it kind of freaks him out a bit um so maybe shadow could be like hallucinating these things or he might not actually be there um for instance they might just be like images of the future for him or you know something something like that i don't we don't know that i, I mean it again it, it still doesn't make sense for the time eater being controlled by both dr eggman <laughs> i'm just gonna call them eggman um to go to these places when they didn't even know about it or maybe they might wreck on it to where like you know the time eater takes shadow to these places and, you know, we might even see the Eggman confused on why these places have been chosen. We don't know, basically. So, but yeah, that's kind of going to do it for this little discussion video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. I, I've tried to make it as much sense as I could. And yeah, if you want to see more Sonic Theory videos or even potential gameplay when the game comes out. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next step. I was going to say next episode then. Next video. <laughs> all right. Goodbye.